Let's listen up, guys. Sheila Jackson Lee and Rodney Ellis came to make presentations. Good afternoon. Amen. 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 The Lord, I guess I can tell it publicly, for many, many years, he's done so many wonderful things for this community. Amen. And so when an opportunity comes to be able to do something for him, mm -hmm. I try to take that opportunity. Yes. Oh, by the way, I am Carol Levin Shabazz. I am the council member for District D. All right. What I call the District of Destination. All right. This is one of our destination venues. But suddenly I wanted to just stop by and extend a certificate of recognition for Brother Deloitte Parker in celebration of the good God 74. All right. Y'all 74 don't look the same, does it? No. Nope. Deloitte Parker, he still got it going on. Oh. I saw him over there trying to come step. <laughs> shake, shake, shake a tail, fella, you know. But in, uh, Brother Deloitte has been a dynamic force within the community for many years. Mm -hmm. He has touched so many lives for so many years and he continues to serve as an inspiration to us all. May God continue to bless you with good health and endless joy. Mm -hmm. I here to sign my name in the office of the seal of the state of Texas. City of Houston on the seventh day of November. All right. Dr. Carolyn Evans Shabazz, council member, humble, thankful, grateful council member for District D. Yeah. And so, I also, I didn't come empty handed. I also want to give him a, a small token of my appreciation. Oh, you wanted to go to shake? Oh, <laughs> see, that's how he is. Anyway, <laughs> I will uh, rewrite this uh, to the Shape Community Center. Awesome, and, and that's awesome. truly a testament to who he is. This is his baby, right? And, and as the father of this, he takes care of his child All right. and his children. And so I thank you, Deloitte. I certainly want to, I don't know if the mayor is going to make it by here because, you know, he goes a lot of places as well. He just got back in the country. But I certainly want to give my regards on behalf of Mayor Sylvester Turner. All and right. I say, therefore I. Yeah. Carol and Evan Shabazz, on behalf of the mayor of the city of Houston, Sylvester Turner, certainly want to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Awesome, awesome. Oh, and, and I think it's being a little shy today. We have a, a representative from Commissioner Rodney Ellison's office, Mr. James Burnett. All right. He makes a lot of uh, runs all around uh, Christine one himself. But without further ado, I, I'm, I'm going to take your job, sir. And I'm going to introduce someone that needs no introduction in this community. She, I mean, I, I just can't, I can't see how she does all that she does. When I go to events, I look for a helicopter. Because I know at some point, the congresswoman is either going to show up or somebody's going to take out the phone and she's going to give greetings. But she is phenomenal. I don't know how we can ever replace her. Hopefully we don't have to in my lifetime. But certainly... I want to say how much I love this sister, and I want her to come up now. The Congresswoman of the 18th Congressional District, Sheila Jackson Lee. Thank you. I'm sorry. You want to finish the I love it, I love it. That's a good hearted woman, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, you know, our council member, she's already renamed. Uh, We're going to get a lot of money just because of her brilliant. District D is Destination D. Destination District. District D, the Destination District. We're going to get a lot of money just for that. Give her a very big hand. That is Carolyn Evans Chavez. Love it. 
I love it, I love it. She is a Yates girl, third born girl. Father was at Purview. That's how that is. There you go. And let him, all right, get that picture. Let's turn out to be an MC. Well, let me just say something, first of all, Deloitte, Parker. I've got to thank all these brothers and sisters that are here, located in the dynamic part of the nation, community that's called Third Ward, and if you're a little younger, you call it the train. I could not have my district out of the claws of lions trying to shred us if you guys hadn't stood up. So I want to say to all of you, it's not about me, it's about you. Third Ward is in the 18th Congressional District and don't you dare mess with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. So let me just say a word. I hear some bumbling talking out there, but that's all right. The family always talks at the dinner table. <laughs> if you look at the city Come on, I got it. as a body, the one thing that people get worried about is the heart and the brain. Mm. I just want to rename Third Ward. It is the heart. Mm -hmm. It is the heart of the city. It is the heart of our community. And shape is the heart of Third Ward. All right. If we didn't have shape, it wouldn't glue all of us together. Yeah. Now, when you think of shape, what a name. Just in its spelling and its meaning. Yeah. But what I'd like to say is, as Deloitte began thinking about shape, and the ultimate word, I call it shape this community up. Yes. Shape us up in the movement. Shape us up when there's a fight. Shape us up to help our children. Come on. Shape us up to help our elders. Shape us up. Shape us up. Could I have someone to shape you up? Shape us up. You're on the wrong pathway. If you got grandmas and grandpas, the modern day parents don't have that word, but shape yourself up. Boy, you gotta shape up. Yep. Girl, you gotta shape up. Lloyd Parker walked the walk and talked the talk. There he goes, up. back at it again. Oh, on this it. corner I mean, me. the of self-sufficiency mm, and sustainability. Mm, mm. That's mm, an important mm, word. Mm, Lord have mercy. Lloyd Parker and all of you have sustained this on your backs, in your hearts, mm -hmm. and in your mind. Yes. This is something that I come to celebrate this birthday for this birthday boy. Mm -hmm. You all are saying that he's 74. I get my numbers mixed up. I thought he was 14 and then 24. Yeah, okay. Then I said, well, maybe he's 47. <laughs> are you okay, young man? You? All you right. To you? Yes. In his honor, let's shape ourselves up. Because in this new era, yes. in this new era, we've got to be able to be here to shape our progeny, love our ancestors. Many of us are culturally diverse, but a lot of us are descendants of free Africans or descendants of enslaved Africans. Mm. Many of us came in pilgrim pride. Some walked across the border. We are diverse. Amen. And you see he's shaping somebody up because he's stretching his neck to look at somebody. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm going to end in a moment. I need you to be supportive of him so he can shape the next generation. Is that all right? All right. All right. Can get the next group of folks focused on what they do for others. Yes. And having them culturally Young sensitive. Like these folks that are bringing it's in. It's Chandra, your mom. I'm about to say, I just said, look at her. I have to ask, because it looks too, yeah, okay, I thought so. I said, let me ask. That's because he shaped them up. I won't keep you long. Let's shape ourselves up. 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 Let's shape 
come through here to get a sense of understanding. I don't know how many meetings of activism that we had in that back room to get folks to be shaped up, whether it was Ida Lee Delaney, when we all just were speechless, that was the beginning of the road. They might have had a meeting for Brother Torres that was way long time ago. All right, see, he knows them all. And moments that we have had in this community, if you weren't in that back room, you were nowhere to be found. Mm. That is the room, that is the home. And I just want to acknowledge your 85-year-old veteran, my Sora extended, adopted Sora. Where are you, sister 85, or soon to be 85? Walk on over here so I can be, you can be here while we present to this teenager. Bring over here, she's here every day. Amen. Making sure that veterans and everybody else get their benefits. All I right. said to her, I said, are you one of the elders? She said, no, I'm over here working. I said, well, that's a bad sister then. Shake yourself up to be like this sister here. All right. She is working a volunteer because she believes in the shape up and the shake up that the Lord Parker represents. All right. And I want this young brother to come over here, brother. Grand pudding. Walk on over here, brother. You got brother Malcolm on. Do you know who brother Malcolm is? Malcolm. Yeah, I heard it up high. I hear that word. All right. And you know brother Garvey? And your brother, brother Huey, right? Okay, well, all those combinations did something, didn't it? Do you love shape? Do you love shape? So, uh, this is, I'm, I got some symbolism here, don't I? A sister that's 85 that volunteers every day because she has been inspired to be shaped up by the Lord Park. Give her a hand, all right? Did you find it? Okay. who have given to others in sacrifice of themselves. Is that not right? All right. So when you right. shake someone up, you shake them up. I mean, come in, give you shake them up to do for others. Is that not right? What's your All name? Right. I'm sorry. Dalib is shaped up. And we're going to expect good things from him. All so right. So my little gift is that little token. You know, you run out. I've been out running the street. But I want to make sure, y'all, we got a bottle of water. <laughs> he got some help. Here at Shake Community Center, 3815. And he's got some delightful Bravo. almond salt. Yeah, these are different things. He got some fair brand. And then he got a little check to make sure that this is just for him to make sure he can go get some more African garb, a good dinner, or whatever it is, because this is his birthday, isn't that? Happy All birthday right. to him. Happy so birthday. Hey, brother, at the back, you're laughing. You're laughing. You're laughing. You need to kick up Stevie Wonder there for a minute. Just that, just that happy birthday. So I'm going away from the seat. My husband, by the way, Dr. Elwin C. Lee, is Mr. Third Ward. He's going to speak while I run away. But in any event, these are goodies. This is his check. And we're going to all... Y'all didn't think I could say